We did like three lives already in the mentorship program and uh, on the channel today. We're going good today. Let me share this uh, live stream. Someone posted, why is the thumbnail so negative? It's not. Pump or dump, 500% altcoin gems. I'm pretty sure that's positive. I got some good gems for you guys to make some profit if the market plays out. Um, let me share this in our chat. How are we all doing, guys? Are we taking profit? Are we shorting? Are we longing? What are we doing? Smash, the, smash those likes. Yeah, for sure. Okay, perfect. All right, Steve, oh, how you doing? Bullish on parade. Let's go, Dent. EK, who have any one? Let's go. Hodling, just holding. Lisa, how you doing? Chris, Guy, Crypto, 2A. Steve, 47. Let's get it. Chris, Mo, how you doing? Still watching last video, Crypto, 2A. Kevin MHM, Crypto Cash, Antonio, Chad. Okay, all of you guys, let's go. Let's pump it. Smash that like button. You're short and sad. What it do? Let's go. Crypto Greg, Lionel, ready to make some money on Tezos. Yes. Shorted BTC at 38,100. Been taking profit and adding 10x. Bullish on parade. I said for you to wait till the bottom. You just jump in it. Jump in it. Okay. So Bitcoin's holding support here, guys, real quick. There is something about crypto right now happening that might make me question if we're going to pump or dump and maybe leaning towards more of a dip. I wouldn't say a dump. Um, the Texas miners, guys, are going to be shut down. Okay. Texas miners because of so right here just give you guys my info right Texas crypto miners are shutting down operations as winter storm approaches shuttering 90 percent 99 percent of their miners so you guys could look that up now now here's the thing um, with the Texas miners. Texas has a lot of crypto projects moving, like Bitcoin mining stations moving over there, right? So that might that might be a little bit of a, a worry for myself because last time miners shut down, guys, we uh, we dipped. Now I don't know if it was in Texas, but right now we're holding support. So. Here's why we're bullish. I'll tell you guys why we're bullish. Because we're at the bottom of your Bollinger Bands here on Bitcoin, okay? Bollinger Bands bottom, four hour bottom. One hour is kind of going up here, okay? MACD is about to cross over. You're coming up on your money flow. You pretty much hit the bottom. RSI hit the bottom. We're definitely coming back up from this. As I said, guys, we're going to dump, we're going to break down support, we're going to hold support around 36, and we're going to try to break that 40. And if we don't break that 40 by the weekend, we are dumping. And I mean dumping. Riding crypto dirty. Let's go, family. Smash that like button, guys. Okay, so crypto seems to be going up a bit here. Okay, let me look at uh, at quant. So I'm setting up for a quant short uh, QNT. This seems to be gaining a bit of momentum on the one hour, which is which is fine. Um, but on your four hour, I'm expecting a dip at some point here. So we'll have to see what happens with uh, Quant. Let's look at Tezos.
Yeah, Tessos, guys, is going good right now too, okay? So Tessos is, uh, our buy zone is 365 to 375, okay? chaps here. Okay, there we go. All right, IDEX went parabolic. XTZ got us a lot of magic left. Absolutely. XTZ is about to come back up here, guys. So this is looking uh, looking really good. The crypto market is definitely coming back. So pump or dump? Well, right now we're gonna pump. I'm expecting us to. Uh, I'm expecting us to pump possibly till about Friday, Saturday, if we start curving up on your four hour. Okay, now things will decline and decrease. Um, can you guys hear me pretty good? Okay, I D E X. Let me, uh, let me, give me a minute, guys. I'm trying to. Right. Okay, perfect. Snow last year all the way to the Gulf Coast. Okay, so IDEX, guys, would I be shorting this right now? Honestly, no, I wouldn't. IDX is way too bullish. If anybody got in that quant uh, quant short, I think it could pump for the next three hours, possibly consolidate up and down in that area. So you might want to get a better entry. I would set a very tight stop loss of two to 3%. Um, but IDX guys, is going to go up to around 40 cents in my opinion. After 40 cents, then I think we're going to drop and I think we could drop pretty good. We'd have support at around 26, but if we break 26, guys, we're coming back all the way to 11 cents. So I would definitely be watching on IDEX. I would not be shorting this coin. Okay, not yet. Even though you could possibly drop on the four hour, guys, I would wait till you are coming down completely on the daily or until you hit this order block around 40 cents on IDEX. All right. Chad, I appreciate you. Let's go. Um, someone messaged me and asked if Tezos is still a go. Yes, it is, but it's about to run away. Okay, three seventy-five is the last last entry point here on Tezos, and uh, that is it. So if you guys are want to get into Tesos, 365 to 375, and then she's running. Does look like on the daily you are forming a red candle, but uh, for now, you are going to pump on Tesos, all right? As much as I want to say you broke your channel, you also didn't. You kind of just hit the mm, bottom of it. 
now you're probably going to come up to around 420 in my opinion 409 to 420 all right pmg family smash that like button guys let's run it up let's look at roads so i have 500 percent all coin gems there we go there we go rose there we go beautiful okay Rose is not curving up on the one hour yet, guys. Keep that in mind. Once it starts curving up on the one hour, I'm getting into a long on Rose. Absolutely. You're almost coming down on the... Uh... So, I would wait for this candle to finish on Rose. You never want to buy a pumping candle. You'll probably come back to around here. I get in the long and rose around 30. The next candle, I'd probably get rose. I Because I'm expecting rose to go to about... Honestly, guys, I'm expecting rose to go to about around 35 to 40 cents in that shorter term. And that's about 14, 15%. All right. And if you guys are not leverage or futures traders, I would still pick up some rows. All right. And uh, yeah, because once rows breaks this, then you're going to start seeing an uptrend. Okay. And rows is starting to pump. If I'm looking at smart money volume, not yet. Very little. And this is why I said we wait till the one hour crosses over. So let's wait till that 40 minute candle is done. And then I'm going to get in a long on rows. Okay. But guys, keep in mind. Um, rose is about to cross over, cross over, getting bullish. You're going up on your daily, but we're looking at the shorter time frame, right? So I would see this uh, four hour curving up too. Now I'm expecting a huge dip guys in the market, but I'm expecting that around Saturday, Sunday. Bullish on parade. There definitely is, there definitely is rose on KuCoin. Absolutely. 100%. I looked it up. I'll even... Go rose and just go KuCoin. You could 10x margin it or even just spot it. Whatever you want. What up? What up? Skills 45 in the house. All right. Request. Oh, request is. As much as I'm. Liking the chart on request right now. Request has been very pump and dumpish. Um, but if request does pump, it'll probably go to around 27 cents. So this would be my entry on request around 2021. Personally, myself, I have not had good luck with this coin because it pumps and then dumps. But if you guys are looking at requests, then you could definitely take a look at it for sure. Five K to invest, top three coins to double or triple. So I'd say get in rows, at least for the next three to four days, and then get in. Um, ICP is looking really, really good, guys. I'm liking the setup on ICP if we can just, right? We're dropping on the four hour guys. So I called a short on ICP. I think I did in the live earlier. I might've even right here. So if you guys got in our ICP short, you guys would be up about 4%. Okay, so IP, ICP is probably gonna come down to about, ICP is in an uptrend guys. You can actually see that. Parallel channels in an uptrend. right so i can expect icp maybe to come down to around 20 wick down around there and then bounce off um 
and then go up to about 24. Now, ICP is just pulling back right now. That's all ICP is doing. But if it does break this and go down, then it's going to break the channel. But I'm expecting it to wick down and wick back up. And this is what it is doing. So we'll have to see here. I'd be... I don't want to say I'd be longing ICP here because it's still coming down in the four hour. Um, but anywhere in this zone, I'd possibly be longing it with the stop loss. Okay. Stop loss for days near or rose. I would choose rose. Yeah, we'll have to see what uh, Bitcoin does. DCA to the floor, guys. Make sure you're setting up tight stop losses. If Bitcoin breaks this 36, guys, this whole setup, every single project set up in long shorts are invalid. Well, shorts are definitely not invalid, but... Uh, DDX, let's see. What is DDX doing? Yeah, this is looking good. I don't know a lot about this uh, coin, but I don't know. I don't like the daily. The four hour seems like it could go for a run. If I'm looking at the one hour. I don't know. I don't really, I would, if you guys are going to get into DDX, I would wait till the one hour it's oversold, but it definitely is uh, at the bottom for sure. Okay, let's look at near protocol. I don't trust the pump right now, to be honest. Um, I want to see that four hour curving out before I. Okay, so near is about to be oversold. So my entry on near would be if I'm longing near, I'd be doing it here in this uh, in this area right here. I still think near could come down and drop to around 1016. But you typically I like to wait for this to be crossing over the 20, your one hour and this to be crossing over your, on your four hours. So I would wait on near. Um, at least till near is coming up on your 20 on your stochastic RSI, all right, for an entry on near. But as we know, guys, near is looking good, okay? Let's go, PMG fam. Keep on smashing that like button, guys. Algrand, yeah, I can look at Algrand for sure. Have not looked at Algo in a bit. So ultimately, I think near could come lower. I know there's a green candle forming, but if we close on that four hour as a green, um, then I'd be a bit bullish on near, but near is curve coming right down, right? So you want this at least to be curving up on your RSI.
and where it's near going to, well, personally, myself, I think near could run up to 1458. If it doesn't run up to 1458, I'd have to take profit at 1189. Or eleven ninety eight around there, twelve dollars. So that's only thirteen percent. But thirteen percent in this market is really, really good, fam. I'll go. So yeah, some good altcoins, guys. Looking good. Algran, man. I don't know if I trust Algran. I trust it for a short more than anything. Um, yeah, so if you're longing Algran, this would be the area to long it around 90 cents. It might pop up to about, I don't know, a dollar one. Pretty much where it rejected. But... I'm not necessarily too bullish on Algo right now. Personally, I'm a lot more bullish on Rose than I am Algrand, okay? And Tezos as well, too. What is the indicator on the right, the blue and yellow? This is called the VPBR, the visible range. It works in tandem like clockwork with order blocks. Let's go, PMG family. Smash that like button, guys. The club is popping tonight. Moonbeam and Moon River. Yeah, Moon River, guys. Moon River is very, very low. I don't know what's going on with Moon River. This thing just absolutely tanked. Um, I don't know. Moon River is not doing much. And it came up to around 85. And that is pretty much it. Adam is at 26. Yes. Let's talk about Adam. Cosmos. All right. Cosmos is looking really good, fam. Cosmos is setting up for a double bottom on the four hour. Like perfectly. Cosmos is... I'm not liking the daily on Cosmos right now. Dave the Bully, thanks. I appreciate you, fam. Um... But I do like the four hour because this is a double bottom. So this would definitely be a good setup to buy, to take some profit, to long, whatever you want. Yeah, Cosmos is looking good. Starting to curve up, right? Starting to cross over, starting to curve up, starting to cross over. I just don't like the daily, but... Of course, we're not looking to make uh, trades that are margin or futures in five days. Well, maybe sometimes, but uh, so I'm expecting Cosmos to run up to pretty much in this area, uh, 29 to about $28. So I guess that's a decent amount, 12%. What do I think of passive income on crypto plays like Thor nodes, Drip Network, and Power nodes? I don't know much about Thor and Power, but I definitely do know a bit about Drip. What is the price of Drip right now? Yeah, Drip just uh, keeps on rising, guys. Well, it was 160 and then it came back down. Drip looks pretty good, guys, uh, for sure. I don't know much about Power or Thor, though. I'll have to look into that. Um,
I'll have to look into Thor nodes myself, but someone did ask if I could take a look at Rune. Man, when is Rune ever going to come back up? Um, I don't know. Rune is on the verge of breaking this support. No, so Rune will probably be a good long to about here, about 9%, about 419, and then a drop again. I'm, I'm not expecting Rune to go crazy. If Rune did pop off or wick up, it could possibly come to 429 and then drop. But you're also overbought on your daily with next to no momentum, right? Okay, let me see this uh, Thor that you guys are talking about. Gain passive income by leveraging Thor's financial multi-chain yield farming protocol. The website is like... Odin, okay. All right, I'll look into this a bit more, guys, on Thor nodes. But uh, all I know is a lot of the nodes in crypto, they pump like crazy, the node projects, and then they dip like crazy. So if you're not in the bottom, you're not in at all. Keep buying. There's a mixed Martian art NFT that has Thor's hammer. Hammer, yes, there is. Okay, power. We can look at power. Power nodes up 35 percent. That's pretty crazy. This is on the Phantom blockchain. 6,300 percentage yield. You'll only need. 10 power tokens to get started. I could do a video on, on these projects, guys, but uh, I'll look into power and I'll look into Thor. I'll look into nodes in general for you guys. ICP, we already did to ICP. Anything on render? I believe render was dropping something like that. Oh, render dropped and came back up, right? So it held the support at that fallen candle, which I expected it to. So my buy on render would be right here. It is overbought in the daily, but you're oversold in the four hours. So. I think render could come up to, honestly, it could come back up to 415. $4 to 415 in this area right here and then drop again. We'll have to see. I would wait till this is curving up on your four hour. I really want to see what Bitcoin does because right now, Bitcoin is literally going sideways, guys. So. With Bitcoin going sideways, the market is technically not in a good position to long or short. I have like a bunch of Tezos uh, trades open, guys, up and down. You're still not curving over the four hour yet, so... No problem, Siri. Fourth is popping. Crypto Greg, let's go. Fourth, it's popping, chugging back pre-workout for sure. Okay, so where do I think Ample Fourth will go to?
Okay, realistically, I think it could go to around twelve to thirteen dollars. Um, The only thing I don't like, guys, is it's overbought in the four hour, but you have four more, you have three more hours to get a pump out of this. Yeah, you know what? This is a good setup. I'd be longing this right now. Very risky because it pumped a lot, but it already dipped and it touched here. It touched your 200 and it held support. Yeah, this is going to run. I'd be long in this. But I would wait for this candle to be finished. There's 20 minutes left on this candle. You already pumped from 684 to 765 on one candle. So I'd be waiting for this candle to finish, but I'd be longing it. Because you definitely have three hours left for this to pump. So even if this does become overbought, you have three hours. And this thing is running. And I also, and again, guys, this is non-financial advice just based on my own kind of stuff. I'm not going to long this until I see the candles finished. Um, but I set your stop loss, a tight stop loss, guys, okay? I set your stop loss for about 693. Yeah, 693. I'm gonna get in and long this trade. If I can. Not not during the candle though. Not during the candle that is pumping. What is this? Fourth? Okay, never mind, I can't. Can't. I don't think it is on uh it's on Binance futures. Of course, CoinGecko doesn't work when I need it to. So, Coin Market Cap. I D E X Kryptonia, no problem. We could do I D X. Uh, Scott, you said th six ninety three would get hit. Yeah, you know what? I would say six fifty four. I would just wait, guys. I would wait till this uh, candle, at least a one hour finishes. This is running up way too quick. Now, it is on an uptrend, though. Can someone tell me if this is on KuCoin? I, I don't, can't log into my KuCoin account right now. Okay, IDEX. Uh, IDEX is looking good, guys. You're still holding your trend. Okay. Looks like you're going to drop soon on IDEX. You're going to get some volume that's coming in and pump probably to about... I don't know, man. IDEX is running pretty hard. 
So I would say IDX, if I'm shorting this, guys, probably around 38. Fourth is on KuCoin and Coinbase, just not perpetual. Okay. So yeah, you guys could buy fourth just spotting it, right? Great. Yeah, Terra Luna's looking pretty good on the four hour, kind of. Or your one hour, but your one hour is almost overbought too. So Luna could run up to about 50 and then retrace a bit. Um, Right, Luna hit your bottom here, and that's nine percent. So it's not bad. Luna wick down right to your bottom of your of your uh, Bollinger Bands. If I'm looking at the four hour. FTM guys, look at FTM. I'd be getting it to FTM around 190 to whatever it is right now, pretty much. Wait for that candle to finish, but FTM is about to run, at least on the four hour. Yeah, FTM's holding support here. I'd be longing FTM anywhere from 187 to 193. That would be my my long and FTM. And I'd put my stop loss, I'd have a stop loss at about
I don't know. I put my stop loss 175 personally myself at about 5x margin or 10x margin. Yeah, so quant is going up. That's why I said to close the uh, quant short if you guys had, because you have three hours left on here, which means this is gonna run for three more hours and then probably reverse. And uh, quant's probably gonna come up to, at this point, probably gonna come up to around One twenty four, one twenty five. Right, Quant is looking good for a short, guys. I'm telling you, but we're waiting until this uh, drops down on your four hour. It is in an uptrend right now on the on the four hour too. So we need a little retrace. Once we have that retrace, we're gold. Then we know Quant is going to move up. Then we know it is in a trending pattern, and it. You already crossed over in your Mac to your money flows going up, all that stuff, right? So make sure you guys are smashing and tapping that like button, PMG family. And if you guys are wondering how to, um, if you get into a shorter long, guys, I know someone on the stream the other night was talking about cover trading. So you got into a short around 115 on Quant or something like that. Yeah, this thing is running now. Um, or Phantom at like 198. You guys could put a short and a long and make even out, make them both even out, and then just close your other trade when it's even. Yeah, Quant's uh, looking pretty good. Quant has uh, got a lot of smart money in it too. Yep. So, let's see what happens. Random guy, how you doing? Trader Joe? Or just Joe? Is this Trader Joe or Joe? It's just Joe. Yeah, this is Joe. I didn't know it was on Binance. Um, did not know Trader Joe was on Binance. So Trader Joe is actually in an uptrend, guys. Remember, the trend is your friend. Well, let me give me a minute. It actually broke your you broke your trend. So it was in an uptrend and broke your trend. So now that's pretty much invalidated. But you've got support here. Pretty much here. It's about to drop on your daily though, guys. Um, this might go for one more run to about 153 to 160 and then i would think trader joe is going to drop and that actually might form a double top too is mana heading to 253 decentraland Yeah, so mana's dropping. Mana might get some volume initially. I would say mana could come back up to around 258, 260. Possibly, but I would not be going against mana, guys, because 
if Mata does come back down to that area, you are looking at the top of for Mata, honestly, probably back around. Honestly, back around your 200 MA, guys. So right here would be my target to short mana to around 199 two dollars you are dropping but then you got to keep in mind some crypto projects go up they drop they go up and then they drop right so austin electric no problem guys smash that like button pmg fam Phantom or near? Phantom because I know it. And Phantom because it plays out how I like it to play out. But near is looking really good. Blockchain, how you doing? Uma, let's look at Uma. Prashant, let's go. How we doing? Uma, what is Uma doing? Nothing, nothing. I can't see anything happening on Uma, but if Uma does break, Uma will run to about $9. So that's a pretty good profit, but I can't see anything happening on Uma right now. Razzy, I'm looking at Rose, all right? Um, I recommend you get into our mentorship, www.clubmoongold.com. Yeah, Quant is ridiculous right now. Smart money kit. Literally nothing was happening on Quant, and then Quant just started taking off. So this is going to be a good short in the next four hours. It's also passing over your uh, 100. Prashant looking pretty good, looking pretty good fam. Solana, let's check out Solana. Wow, Solana pumped to 112 and dipped to 98. Ugh, Solana's looking pretty not good, not good. Um, Solana could run back up to about here. Honestly, Solana could form a double top on the four hour. A big M and then come down. So let me see what Solana's going to do here. Yeah, Solana could go back to around $80. I would wait to see if this uh, curves up here on the four hour. It will just as a matter of fact when. Solana will try to push up again to where it was. Because Solana, guys, was in an uptrend. Was pretty much here. So Solana is actually in an uptrend, guys. So you went up, you came down. If it holds support and starts pumping, you're going to go up. You're going to come down until it breaks. 
Right, Hathor's not doing too much. Harmony one, K Hathor, yeah, Hathor is not doing really anything. But if Hathor breaks out, it will run and it will run hard. It'll run to like one one twenty eight. I'd be watching Hathor guys, but I don't see it doing anything right now. It is kind of going up, but not really. Yeah. I like Hathor when it starts running. If it breaks this resistance, then Hathor will start running pretty good. Yeah, Quant will pump, but not that much. No, not that much. I want to look at roads and see what's happening here. Yeah, Rose is still hanging out. Do I think Ethereum will drop? Okay, let's look at Harmony 1. Remember, guys, all of these are based off of trade patterns and my own TA. Do your own research. Make sure you guys are looking at the charts. Maybe sometimes I don't see, enough, uh, see something. Try to do my best, but uh, make sure you guys are always doing your own research, right? Harmony 1 is looking okay. Yeah, you know what? Harmony 1 might... Harmony 1 might be setting up for a breakout here. Um, I would put in a long at Harmony 1 or buy Harmony 1 with no leverage. And I would put my stop loss... Yeah, I'd put my stop loss at like 16449 if you guys are just buying it. Har Honestly, I would just buy Harmony and hold it. It it could run. Harmony 1 is looking like it could do something. Um especially on your MACD, especially on your money flow. So, I'm liking Harmony 1 right now. I have to see what's happening in 4 hours, guys. Uh 3 hours from now, but 2 hours from now, but Harmony 1 is looking great. Tezos is starting to go. We're all going to make money on that Tezos long, guys. I'm telling you that. Let's go. 376. 377. Yeah, looking good. Already up 3%. It's not too bad. Guys, smash that like button if you do like me live trading. It's very, very risky on my part. Very, very risky on my part, guys. But understand, I will lose trades. And I'll lose trades live, guys. And when I do post live trades, I'm actually going to post in the title, I lost 6K, I lost 5K. Because I want you guys to see what I lose. But you're going to see more wins and losses Got a 90% win rate on January so far. Tesos, guys, there you go. Here's what no one has seen on Tesos, pretty much. Guys, that's a double bottom right there. Tes Tesos is going to absolutely explode on the one hour. And the four hour, guys, you're oversold, man. So this is uh, this is looking good. If you guys haven't got into Tesos yet, Wait for this candle to finish at this point or even get in now in 373 to 376. But after that, don't get into Tezos, all right? If you guys are not on Tezos, guys, and I would be setting your stop loss. Make sure you're setting your stop loss, right? So wick down to 360, wick down 357. So I'd be setting your stop loss right about 355 now, okay? Or if you're buying Tesos and not trading, that's fine as well, too. 
Yeah, 355 is almost 6%. So I'm bullish on Tesos right now, and it technically is in an uptrend. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you could call that an uptrend because it's still holding. It just wicked. So honestly, guys, Tezos could go to about 420. 420, let's go. Wow, Quant is on a full... What the heck is happening to Quant? This is like way too much volume. Okay, so... That's crazy, yeah. Quant hit my stop loss, um, which is fine, guys, because now we're just going to short it on the way down. Let me look at Quant and see what's happening. Because that's not normal volume, especially on Quant. I said Quant was going to blow up at some point. I just didn't know when, right? Let's look at Quant real quick and see what's happening here. Well-designed CBDCs can preserve individual privacy and function similarly to cash. Chief product officer. Okay, so the CBDCs uh, thing that is happening in the world. Secure monetary systems. Oh, yeah. Quant's about to take off. Quant has been working on stuff in the background, so. Yeah, huge candle on Quant. Uh, David, yes. So that is a trade. If you're doing 10X, I would do a bit. Here, here's the thing. See, that's the catch 22. At that point, I just get liquidated. And the reason why is because if Phantom goes back down to that area, there's no point in setting a stop loss at 10% if you're going to get liquidated anyways. Okay. So Phantom is a weird one. Okay, we'll get back to Quant in a bit here, fam. Oh, Phantom, Phantom, what are you doing to me? Um, I don't know, guys. I'd wait for Phantom to be curving up on four hour. Wait for that candle. I don't know. I think we're going to chase that wick. Honestly, if Phantom breaks here and goes down, we're going down. If Phantom breaks 187, but I don't want to, I'd say set your stop loss for about 185. 185. Okay. $50 quant. Yeah, that will happen when we dip. It could possibly up 9% on Tesos. Let's go, Lionel. Make sure you guys are in the mentorship, www.clubmoongold.com if you're not, guys. Live trading every day. Multivac MTV. Phantom is the only coin that I let it liquidate me because I know it's going to go low and then I know it's going to bounce back, bounce back real quick. Okay, let's see here, guys. I'm gonna. All right, guys, smash that like button, PMG fam. Let's keep on tapping it. So, guys, I actually got a. Someone who, uh, project that wants us to check them out on the stream today. I've been talking to them. They seem like a pretty good team. Uh, it's an IDO. So we're going to get you guys into an IDO if you want, PMG fam. I'm going to share the project. Okay. So actually, someone has been talking about this project on the stream and get me to look at it. 
um, it's an IDO, so I want to give you guys a bit of access to an IDO if you want. And I do like IDOs. So, Aetna Game. Okay, this is Aetna Game, guys. It actually looks really, really good. Um, well, pretty good. I like to see more of their characters. But yeah, it looks pretty decent, guys, right? So, Metaverse. They have their Metaverse coming soon. They have a quick game, their Marketplace. They have an NFT Marketplace. And uh, it is actually in the Polygon blockchain, which is pretty cool. So you got your you got your NFTs. These NFTs are really cool, um, in my opinion. And the Metaverse is coming out soon. This is great. You can actually play the demo. So you can download the demo if you go to Etna.game, guys. I've been looking at this project. It's a game and it has been tested to work on all PCs most. Guys, that's pretty cool. You can download the demo. There's actually a demo. Okay. And the IDO, I have to make sure I'm right on the IDO. Okay. So participate in the IDO. You have to go to this site right here. I'm getting into this thing. I bet you for sure. 100%. Five days left. Ongoing. So you go to app.oxpad.io. And uh, you could get into Etna. So you connect your wallet. You guys know how to get into IDOs and stuff like that. Uh, you could uh, stake. And real quick, there's other um, Twitter. Yeah, their Twitter is what I was going to show you guys. So go follow these guys on Twitter, guys. It's a multi-chain launch pad and incubator. And they actually just shared Etna game. All right. So... So to participate, you stake some OX pad tokens at app.oxpad.io. After staking your MTB IDO allocations, auto calculate. The market cap at launch is 300K max and all unsold tokens will be burned. So I kind of like this guys. Um, I want to give more IDOs to you guys and I want to share more IDOs because IDOs is how you make a lot of money. It's play to earn, launchpad, NFT, metaverse. All right. All right, PMG, keep on smashing that like button, guys. And then, of course, you got their white paper, right? So. Crypto Galaxy, it is a one-stop ecosystem for interconnected crypto products and technologies. And they're making a metaverse and an NFT uh, project. But yeah, I'd get into their IDO, Edna, okay? So they wanted us to check it out and uh, give PMG access to their IDO. So I appreciate you guys for that. Okay, have to stake Etna tokens to participate in the IDO. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, random guy. All right, guys. What the heck is... Uh... Wow, Quant is absolutely insane. What is happening with Quant? This is a coin where it's like it hits your stop loss. It's like I want to just short it here because it keeps going up. But no, that's that's not cool. This is breaking your parallel channel, guys. So Quant's getting really bullish real quick. Um, this is breaking your trend. And it's going up, which is crazy. Like this was flat and now it's it's breaking, right? It's gone. Quant is, this is a big FOMO candle though. So I don't know if I'd be shorting this candle. I can't give you guys that advice, but usually a FOMO candle, people take profits. Although this FOMO candle, it kept on going up. So you guys do what you want in your own opinion. But I'll tell you guys, Quant is going to look at a beautiful short once this is set up ready. So yeah, here's the thing. Quant's going to go up to here. 150. 150 would be resistance at this point. Crazy. It absolutely killed that order block. Wow. Yeah, don't look at Quant for three hours. Come back in two hours and 44 minutes and look at Quant. 
honestly, there was no volume in quant. And then out of the minute, it was like, boom, I'm, I'm out of a gas cannon, right? All right, PMG family, I appreciate your support, guys. Smash that like button, guys. We are pretty much done for tonight. Tezos is creeping up. Rose is looking good. Join the Twitter, Project Moogle. Guys, make sure you join that Twitter. We're going to be doing live. Join our Twitch, uh, pro- twitch.tv slash Project Moogle, guys, all right? I'm looking at Rose, so Rose is... Rose is getting me excited, okay? Rose is doing what Quant did. Consolidate, chill for a bit, and then took off. I don't know if it's going to do the same thing, but I'm liking Quant. Sodium, have a good night, guys. Have a good night. I appreciate you, PMG fam. We'll be back tomorrow. If you're not in the mentorship, www.clubmoonbull.com. Let's go live trading. Have a great day. Make money on Tesos, guys. And on the quant short, make sure it's it's coming down. All right, have a great day.